Hey Jenny, um, and YouTube I guess, but this one's for my little sister. So I missed my upload yesterday the, for the first time since June 28th, which I'm not disappointed in because I was busy being a good uncle, I was busy being a good brother, I was good, busy being a good friend, so eh, you know, nobody's perfect, so it is what it is, so I don't feel any upset about that. Larissa, thank you so much for my Knights Templar necklace, it's my favorite gift I've ever received. And um, Jenny, you want to know about investing, you want to know about Robin Hood. There's some very simple, I'm making a risotto right now. So, sorry if I'm preoccupied, but I couldn't I couldn't help but crave it, so I'm going to make it. If When it comes to investing and when it comes to Robinhood, you can go on YouTube, you can go on Google, you can go on anywhere you want and research the fundamentals. You can research the basics, you can research anything that you want to research when it comes to how to operate the app. I can teach you, that's the easy stuff. The hard, th the hard part when it comes to investing is not necessarily having the money to do it because you can you can invest <laughs> in with a dollar you know you don't need any hardly any money someone can find a dollar if you start digging through and go clean your car you could probably find twenty dollars to start investing obviously you can't go and sit there and buy like a bunch of stocks but they start to grow you know and when I started investing it was more or less along the line of just wanting to do something different with my money um, sitting in a savings account didn't do anything for me. It doesn't grow. <laughs> if you put $5,000 in your savings account on January 1st and at the end of the year, you're going to have $5,000 in your savings account and it doesn't do anything for you. It just sits there and it, it makes you feel nice and it makes you feel safe that you have that money sitting there. But in the end, like it's not growing. It's not going anywhere. When I got my first, um, when I got my first bonus from my job, like, for being uh, what's it called a uh, manufacturer or you know thank thanking thanking the workplace for people that have been sitting around and having to work their ass off for being essential while everyone else gets to sit back and make more money by just collecting the money from the government it kind of made me a little upset and it kind of pissed me off so I took my three hundred dollars and I put it into Robin Hood that day as soon as it hit my account it was a Friday I put it in and then it wasn't even an hour that went by and I had seven cents. That $300 grew to $300 and seven cents. That's an amazing, gr I mean, that's more than I started with, right? So then I started thinking about it and I was like, well, what else can I invest in? And then I started researching, you know, like markets and I started researching where, where the world's going and I started researching like, because everyone's, it's, everything's up in the air right now with the COVID in 2020, nobody knows what's, what's going on. So. You got to do something with your money and you got to do something safe and you got to do something legal because you don't want to hurt yourself and you want to get in trouble and yeah you can make money illegally very easily you know and that's just not the way people need to be making money so when I took when I took my three hundred dollars and I put it in into my account uh, I just started buying EV stuff uh, that's the electric vehicle market and I know that every single car manufacturer is going to be Stop making fossil fuel cars. They're not gas is going to be obsolete in 10 years. People don't understand that. It doesn't mean that people aren't going to be driving them. It's just going to be smaller and smaller and people aren't even going to be right. At some point, believe it or not, people that are only going to have gas vehicles are going to be on gas regulated roads and people are just going to be driving their classic cars around. In the future, you look at any car manufacturer, it doesn't matter how big or small they are, they're all investing in electrical vehicles. Why? Because it's cheaper, it's more efficient, you get, you get more power out of, out of your vehicle, you get more power out of your wheels or your engine, and it's just, it's going to be the, it's, it will be the future, if it isn't already. And you could, you could go ahead and look back, I invested in Tesla when it was just $20, and I love Tesla, and obviously my cat's named Tesla, and I've been obsessed with Elon Musk for I don't know how long since I've known about him. And when it came to investing, I started looking at trying to line myself up with the future, okay? So if you want to think about the gold rush that happened uh, back in the 1800s, and everybody was coming to America and trying to move out west, it wasn't the people that were investing all their money and going to mine and panning gold. 
The people that made the real big bucks were the people that were selling shovels, the people that were opening businesses and selling lanterns and pickaxes and stuff like that. Those were the real money makers. So they were just kind of lining themselves up with the future. So that's how you have to think about the, the future world. It's like a rising tide. So if, if one boat goes up, all the other boats are going to go up, right? So that's one of the things that I kind of started to think about. I'm like, well, not what's making money right now. Yeah, you can go ahead and invest in stuff that's making money right now and it's going to keep going up, right? Or you could start lining yourself up with like like palladium, you know, and platinum and, and you know, switchback energy and plug and PLG, like all these companies that are like, all the EV markets are going to be using what? They're going to be using batteries. So start investing in stuff that like to make batteries, start investing in charging machines, start investing in, in things. You don't have to know like Neo is going to be the next gold mine or the Neo is the next Tesla or Tesla is going to be going f to to $10,000 a share like yeah you can invest in them right now and you're not going to lose out on any money like just you got to let it sit and you got to let it grow that's come that's the basics when it comes to investing it's not what's going to be making money today it's what's going to be making money in the future so you have to think about you have to think about where where it's going you have to think about where where the future and where companies are trying to to better themselves you know and they're they're not going to want to go backpedal they're not going to you're not going to see people making big diesel engines anymore even like even every single truck you know like you have your Nikolai's and your Helions and you got all these other companies that are like going to be, be good, they're going to be putting like electrical engine modifications on their trucks so they don't have to spend money on gas it's just old news and people that go out even if you're going out right now and you're going to buy a, a gas car I don't know why people are going out and buy gas cars anymore. I'm not a huge envir environmentalist. It has nothing to do with saving saving the, the planet or or staying green. It's just everybody is going to be moving. Every country is moving in that direction. And you can go Google all you want and you're going to find every company. You can look up any car manufacturer and you're going to find out that they're going to be doing what? Going electric. They're investing in... The, some companies are even merging together to like you know, to try to get ahead of the game. So it's one of the things you have to, you have to have some sort of mind. You have to have some sort of means. You have to have some sort of, you know, like idea of where the future is going to be and what you want the future to be. And you, you're a nurse, right? You probably know a shit ton about like the medical industry. You can just invest in medical stuff. The companies that you like, the medicines that you know that work, the doctors that support those, you know, those are the companies like if you if you know medical, stick to your field and buy medical stuff because you know what's going to be working. If you ask me what the hell is working <laughs> down at the hospital, I have no frigging clue, you know. I know if I wanted to invest in medical, I know where I'd be going. And it was kind of funny when you when you joined Robinhood, I got a medical uh, a medical stock. So it's like I do own one medical stock now. So like I have for you to thank for that. And I was like, I told you, I was like, it's no surprise that I get a medical, uh, medical market uh, stock from you. So I want you to think about, you know, going on YouTube, researching, you know, where you want your money to go. You have you bought you have a hundred dollars in your buying power. You know, I like crypto. Like that's one of the things I'm doing right now because. I like to see my money be made 24 seven. So <laughs> I'll set my alarm and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, yep, I made some money and I go right back to sleep. Uh, markets are closed, you know, like on Saturdays and Sundays. So you can't make any money. Like you can set yourself up for Monday, you know, cause people buy in on Monday and then they sell on Friday. Like that's what people do. And there's some traders that are just like in stocks for just like, they see a trend start going up. They'll, they'll put their $500 in or their hundred dollars in. They watch that stock as soon as they make like, 25 bucks they pull out and it's like now they have hundred and twenty dollars. I mean you could trade like that, too I don't suggest doing that because you can't read the future. I like to say I look long-term and I look hey What's going to be going to be making money? What's going to be? Uh, the direction that people are gonna be going where are people are putting their money now I was like you go ahead and like all these hedge funds and you have these financial financial institutions They're buying they're buying Bitcoin. They're buying Ethereum. They're buying Litecoin. They're buying all sorts of because the, the the fiat dollar doesn't even exist anymore it hasn't since it went from the petro like petro is gone you know we have nothing left left to back up our economy the only thing that was holding up the american economy was fossil fuels 
So oil, crude oil, you know, um, drugs, pharmaceutical companies, you know, like that's that's what's been propping up the American economy for that long. And like those are going to fall through too. like 2020. We do we learn like healthcare's it's not it's not that good anymore. You know, you can't invest in, you know, like maybe the two companies, Madonna or whatever, and Pfizer that are doing the the um, the new vaccine or whatever. They're they're making money, but people are still getting sick off it. So like that's another thing you need to think about, like um, if you want to put your money into into something, you have to believe in it. Like you love Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is a great company to be buying into. You know, it's your favorite pop, right? You spend money on Coca-Cola. Even if Coca-Cola went, they stopped selling Coca-Cola. They have, I don't even know, 90 other companies that they that they have like <laughs> that make money, you know? So if Coca-Cola stops making Coca-Cola, they still have all these other supports. So, so Coca-Cola is another good company. I mean, you even get like dividends. I can't, I don't know what for what the numbers right now, but I want to say about maybe three or four percent. You're going to be making like I don't know if it's quarterly or you know biannually that they that they they spit out their dividends. But you know I don't drink Coca Cola, I don't drink pop, so I don't invest in pop. I think it's bad for people, and I think sugar's horrible. But people love it; they eat it up all day. So it's just something I don't believe in, so I don't invest in. You know, I invest in the things that I believe in. And that's, that's how I like to invest. I look very long term. I don't look for making like $50 a day. Some people set a goal. They want to make so much a day. I'm like, I don't care about how much money I make a day. I see how I want to, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a multimillionaire. I want to be a billionaire. So you got to start researching how to be a billionaire. You start reading the books that the billionaires read. Start, start doing what the billionaires do. You know, they wake up at 4.30 in the morning and they're, they're, they're making decisions on their life before people even wake up. That's why they're billionaires. <laughs> you go look at Bill Gates. He's a tool shed. Go ahead and look at Elon Musk. He's, he's a genius. You know, they both have different companies. They both have different ways of going, but you know, I completely support everything that Elon Musk does. I know people hate him. I don't give a shit if they hate him. He's he's an absolute hero to me, and he's one of the alpha males that I I said he was going to be the he's going to be the richest person in the, in the world. That I said that I don't even know how long. Be like, oh, he's never going to outbeat Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos. You know, like he knocks him out of the park. He's not going to stop. He invests in Doggy Coin. I love Doggy Coin. Doggy Coin's made me so, so much money. I have like. 25,000 shares of doggy coin and I told you as soon as it and I bought it for under a penny That's one penny who can afford a penny a lot of people can afford a penny any you anyone can afford a penny I'm sorry if you live in America You're you're already one of the richest people in the world if you have zero debt and you have ten dollars in your bank account You are one of the richest people in America, and that's how you have to think about money. You can't think of it like Comparing it to everyone else be like do you think uh, when Elon Musk was just just a little shithead that he was going to be the richest person in the world no he just stuck to his guns his goals and like that's what what made him who he is and now people are giving him a lot more mad props now that he is the richest person like you have to that's something you need to understand so you need when you need to look about robin hood and you want to look into investing i need you to look up the basics the fundamentals of investing because everyone's going to see numbers differently everyone's going to ring uh uh, look at technical analysis different. You know, everyone's going to see numbers different. Some people will be like, I don't know what to invest. I don't know how to invest. Be like, well, look around. Think about like in 2020 when we've been locked down all freaking year. Like what, what companies are making money in 2020? You could invest in Clorox, you know, like diapers, shit like that. People are always going to be using stuff like that. You can just look around your house and the products that you have in your house are probably products that are other people are buying too. So that's how you got to think about investing. You can't just pick um, you can't just pick a magic stock and be like, this is the one that's gonna make you super rich, you know? Like, I was playing video games about two weeks ago with with my buddy John, and he's like, hey Greg, um, check out this stock. I looked at the stock, it was like, it hit like four or five numbers that I look at, and I'm like, shit, I'm gonna buy eight hundred, I'm gonna buy eight hundred dollars worth of it, and I made eight, I doubled my money in one day. I made eight hundred dollars, and that was. That was not even my biggest day anymore. My biggest day <laughs> was last week and I made that off crypto. So I'm constantly putting my money in stuff and I'm constantly pulling my money out of stuff. So like, it's just one of the things like, I don't know how you want to invest. You want to invest long-term, invest in companies that you love in products that you use, you know? I got to keep on doing this risotto. So I need my other hand. So um, that's just a little basic when it comes to investing. 
Um, I'm not going to tell you how to read technical analysis because you can go online and you can read technical analysis and everyone's going to read charts differently. Everyone's going to read all the numbers differently. So when it comes to investing, just think about the companies that you love. Think about the companies you use. You know, those are the ones that you should be investing in and those are the ones you'd be standing by. You, I would be, <laughs> you'd be doing a lot of medical because you know that stuff. You know, <laughs> I would come to you for advice be like, hey, Jenny, you know, what should I invest in when it comes to the medical? So uh, if you have any ideas or you have any good medical companies that you, you know, they're doing good things and they're, they're supporting like people and do, and they're not just trying to make money and using people as the, like a little stepping stone to make themselves more profitable, then that's the, one of the companies that I want to know. So if you have any of those companies in mind, please let me know. And uh, I'm going to get back to this resort. You take care. I love you. Bye.